All right, so now we're going to talk about uh, autonomous systems. Okay, and so these are uh, sort of systems of differential equations. which do not explicitly depend on time. And uh, what I mean by that is that uh, in general, for example, you have a differential equation where the vector field depends on time as well as the, the components of, uh, of the solution, okay? Um, so there's an explicit dependence because there's a time there. Um, but there can obviously be an implicit, or there usually is an implicit dependence, it's like on time, through the fact that the solution themselves, it's like depend on time, right? So what I mean by that is that normally you have this y prime is f of ty, okay? So if, uh, if it turns out that you can just write as y prime is equal to f of y, and there's no explicit time there, then we say that such a system is autonomous. Okay, so this is autonomous if f only depends on t through its dependence on y of t. Okay. Right, so, uh, so maybe we should write this more explicitly, y t prime is equal to f of y of t, right? So in general, yeah, something like that. There is an implicit dependence on time because y depends on time, but f <coughs> itself doesn't contain t except through this y dependence, okay? All right, um, so that's, that's what we mean by uh, autonomous, okay? All right, so what... Um, and the reason it's like uh, why you want to do this is uh, that oftentimes if you have an autonomous system, it's like the, uh, the numerical methods, it's like for solving autonomous systems are simpler, okay? Um, so you can ask yourself, well, given a, a non-autonomous system, something which depends on time, how do you make it autonomous? Okay, so given a non-autonomous differential equation, right, how can we uh, make it autonomous? Okay, uh, and the basic idea is that uh, you augment uh, the right-hand side, so if you have a new right-hand side, which uh, includes t, right, then it, by definition it's no longer autonomous, okay? So, uh, so we introduce, uh, let's call a y0 as equal to t, okay? And so if you have y, which is now y0 all the way up to yn, okay? So, uh, so what I meant is that if you have, for example, y n for the derivative is equal to f of t y um, y all the way up to y n. Okay, then what I can do is I can do this y zero. Okay, y zero. Okay, so I need to add a differential equation for y zero. So y zero prime is equal to uh, d dt of t, right, which is one. So that differential equation is sort of fairly simple. So f, right, can be given by uh, one f one to f n, where this um, actually no, sorry, I'm talking about systems here, right? So I have y one is equal to f one t y1 to yn all the way up to yn is fn t y1 to yn. Okay, so you have a system of equations like that, 
right? And uh, you augment to that, it's like an equation which says y0, sorry, y1 prime to yn prime, y0 prime is equal to 1. Okay, uh, and then the other thing you have to do is you have to set up initial conditions, right? The, so the initial condition for y0 at 0, well, y0 at, sorry, t0, right? It's just t0, right? That's kind of a trivial initial condition, but that's what it is, right? Uh, and then you set up the initial conditions for the other thing, okay? So anyway, with, with this kind of identification, right, then you can rewrite that system of autonomous equations, right, as y prime is equal to f of y, okay? Because y now also includes the, a copy of time, if you will. Okay, so anyhow, so, so that's, uh, that's how you deal with autonomous systems. Uh, and as you might expect, you can, <coughs> you can combine all these ideas which we talked about, right? We've talked about how to take a system of higher order differential equations and convert it into a system of first order equations. Uh, we've just talked about how you can take an autonomous differential equation, uh, system of autonomous, well, system of non-autonomous differential equations and convert it into a system of autonomous ones. And obviously, as you might expect, you can convert a system of higher order non-autonomous differential equations into, well, uh, into a system of first order autonomous differential equations. Okay, so, um, so let me just stop here for now.